Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is a light bar AD is suspended from a cable BE and supports a 50 LB block at C. The ends A and D of the bar are in contact with frictionless vertical walls. Determine the tension in the cable BE and the reactions at A and D. In this problem given is a weightless bar AD is arranged like this. So these two faces, these two walls are frictionless and at point C there is a weight 50 LV is hanging downwards and at point B there is a cable BE is arranged like this. So in this and various dimensions are shown like this. So in this problem we need to find tension in this cable and reactions at D and A. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First let us see forces and reactions. So there is a weight W is acting at a point at point C vertically downwards. Due to this weight there will be tension in this cable BE. So the direction is shown and there is a reaction at D that will be perpendicular to this wall. So there won't be any horizontal reaction because this wall is frictionless. Similarly this wall is also frictionless and there is a reaction at point A, R A will be perpendicular to this wall. Now let us take moments about A. So this reaction R A won't create any moment about A. So this tension T will create counterclockwise moment and W will create clockwise moment and this reaction R D will create counterclockwise moment. Let us see, let us write the equation sigma ma equal to 0. So moment due to w is w into this distance 5 inch plus 3 inch, 5 plus 3, 8 inch minus, uh, minus is because t will produce counterclockwise moment. So minus t into this 5 inch, this distance minus rd, rd will also create counterclockwise moment. So rd into this height 8 inch that equal to 0. So w into 5 plus 3 minus t into 5 minus rd into 8 equal to 0. From this equation we can write rd equal to 8w minus 5t by 8. Let us call this equation 1. Now let us uh, see forces along y direction vertical. So sigma fy equal to 0. Along vertical direction we have only two forces t and w. So from this we can write t equal to w. So since w is 50 lb and T equal to W, T is equal to 50 LB. Now let us see forces along horizontal. So along horizontal we have RA acting towards this direction and RD acting towards this direction. So let us write sigma Fx equal to 0. So from this we can write RA minus RD equal to 0. So from this RA equal to RD. Now let us see from equation 1. So we have seen that RD equal to 8W minus 5T by 8. Let us substitute T that we have calculated in the previous slide and W equal to 50 LB. So we get RD equal to after substituting the values and simplification RD equal to 18.75 LB. Now the answers are T equal to 50 LB that is tension in, the, in this cable BE T equal to 50 LB and since RD equal to RA RD we have calculated here RD equal to 18.75 LB. So RD equal to RA equal to 18.75 LB. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.